We're going to examine the abdominal vasculature now. We're going to do the IVC and how to assess for um, fluid status uh, as well as central venous pressure. So in order to do this scan, the first thing is you want to have the patient supine. If you can bend their legs, great, to relax abdominal musculature. Uh, you're going to use a phase array probe on abdominal settings or cardiac settings if you want, but I use abdominal setting for this. In order to find the IVC, you really want to be as superior as possible next to the epigastrum and next to the epigastric area. So the first thing I identify is I look for the liver first because the IVC has to go through the liver. The IVC is usually the most posterior vessel that you see in the liver, and we see it right here in the transverse view. There you see it. Okay. So once you identify the IVC, what you can do is use your right hand to center the probe to look to find the IVC, and then use your left hand to rotate. And you, how I approach it is if you cannot rotate the probe unless your vessel is centered. So if your vessel is truly centered and you rotate your probe, you'll get the long axis view of that vessel. So here's the IVC, and you can actually see the IVC, or the interior, inferior vena cava, entering the right atrium right there. Okay. So as our patient takes a big breath in, you see that the IVC collapses. So that's a sign that his right atrial pressures or central venous pressures are low and he, it might, uh, he should be able to tolerate fluids if given to him. Let's take another big breath in. Okay. And the general consensus is that more than 50% collapse indicates a low right atrial pressure in this view.